We are in northern Spain, about two hours west of Bilbao, and we're in search of some epic roads. We're going to be riding through two national parks. Yeah, the two national parks that we'll be riding through are called Picos de Europa as well as Montana de Rano. We've got about an hour until we hit apparently this very scenic lake. So we're going to hit the road now and ride through these two national parks. Yep, it's going to be good. There's tons of twisty roads as we looked on the map. So let's go. If you've just joined us, we're on the R1250 GS Adventure and we're doing a three week road trip of Spain, Portugal and Gibraltar. We are at the beginning of our trip and we are in northern Spain at the moment and we're heading to some national parks. Little cute bit bridge here. Yeah, just to kind of get right then. Where that goes. Oh, I've got some good twisties coming up. Oh uh, yeah, you have to make sure you keep your eye on the road so they get distracted. Yeah, really narrow. <laughs> so we've got mountains to the left of us, little stream running through on the right. Overall the road quality is very good. Yeah, expecting any... Yeah, expect it gets really harsh conditions here. I think they get a harsh winter. There's still yeah. snow on some of the peaks we saw. This is true. It almost has a feel to the start of the Trans Faragasan Road in Romania. Yeah, it's very me. similar as well. And also for me, I think it's uh, similar to the Dolomite area. Yeah. I guess these mountainous regions always use the same stone and things to build their buildings. jaunting out onto the road. Oh wow! <laughs> Are you doing a great job of keeping the camera level there? Eh? <laughs> I'm not doing it on purpose, I promise. Oh, what a beautiful road. No, it's beautiful isn't it, you're right. It feels like we're about to drive straight into a wall of rock. It almost looks um, 2D, that mountain. It's so flat. I've got, I've got a feeling it's only going to get better. Oh. We're only into like five or ten minutes of this ride. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> they are. Oh, she, she says as three cars fall on the corner. Yeah, don't say that again. Uh. <laughs> so we're getting deeper and deeper into the kind of heart of these hills. These, these mountains. What mode are you in on the bike? Still road? Um, I've popped it in dynamic. A little bit more responsive. Oh, I hope we're going up there. That looks great. What's that bridge there, do you want to worth stopping? It says Vista Panoramic. Vista Panoramic? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. What do we think of Vista Panoramic? Oh. I think I we'll think give we it a pass on. and find our own Vista. Yeah. By this, I really didn't expect um, such big peaks in Spain. Absolutely, Spain has such a contrast of landscapes. Yeah, considering like 48 hour, hours ago we were looking at kind of sandy desert tones. 
after yeah that's a, that's only a few hours away from here as well almost see snow on the top of that peak I think there is yeah right little bridge oh we're crossing into a new province <laughs> a new provincia provincia <laughs> de leon there are quite a lot of the uh, falling rock signs and rocks on the roads, isn't there, Sean? Oh, uh, yeah, there sure is. You have to watch out for them. Be prepared for a load of rocks to be around the corner. But you can kind of see where they're most likely to be. Because these look like they are not going to be dropping any rocks soon. But some of them you can see like they're all crumbling away, like they're alive. The bike is handling amazingly around here. We're fully loaded, we're two up with all our bags and equipment and food. And you can really throw it in these corners. In fact, I think the extra weight helps keep <laughs> the back end planted. Yeah, the comfort two up on the GS is, is unparalleled. The only thing that can beat it is probably a goal wing. <laughs> perhaps, yeah. Reserve you have your massage back rest, perhaps. <laughs> But you're not going to be going on gravel tracks on a gold ring, so I'll settle for, settle for this. Yeah, I really <laughs> like... <laughs> this is so much fun! <laughs> An adventure bike is so good around here with the really wide handlebars, you can really flip it from one turn to another. You're putting my camera skills to the, ca the, to the test! <laughs> That's for sure. Well, I think that's us through the gorge. And now that's I think the first our next. Gorge done. Yeah, I think we've got one more and then we'll be on to the lake. Where well, hopefully we're going to find the perfect spot to camp tonight. Yeah, weather's looking good. 17 degrees, so it's. No, we're not that. Right. We can't be that high up. Our sleeping bags are minus six. So <laughs> I think well I think you should be okay. We seem to be gaining altitude really quick. Oh another expanse on the way order. That's like a pyramid. Another pyramid it mountain. Says another perfectly carved mountain. You can tell that it's early spring. The the forest is starting to come to life again. You can yeah, see some of the of flowers it, coming through. Yeah, a lot of the trees looking bare still. But yeah, as you yeah. say, the blossom blossoms still coming. What oh, a lovely little place to live. Yeah, I imagine it's a very simple life here. It's not so a a place you want to nip to the shops at. No. What a beautiful noise. They must have some snow here. Look at these poles just marking the road. Ah, yeah. Not really sure when these roads are closed or open. But we're in the beginning of April here. And it's pretty clear. The air has definitely got quite chilly. Why? It's 13 it's definitely degrees. Definitely higher. 13 degrees. 13, yeah. See into the right, the the vista. It looks like we're in the Dolomites. Say, did it say 20 kilometers on the sat nav until we reach uh, the lake? Yet. Yeah, 20 to the lake. 20. Make a pitch your tent. You can get dinner on. <laughs> what are we having for tea tonight, Em? Uh, I think we're gonna do lentil pasta again. Maybe lentil pasta, pasta for a change. Very yeah. Good. <laughs> oh, we're having pesto, not tomato sauce. Yeah, we're having pesto tonight. We've actually got that pea protein and jackfruit to try too. Oh, okay, yeah, that's new. Picked that up before we left, didn't we? Yeah, pretty sure any minute now we're going to hit the lake. Oh yeah, it's just around the corner. Little sleepy village here. It looks abandoned almost. It does, doesn't it? Like no cars anywhere, everything is. Or everything seems to be uh, boarded up. Could be holiday homes. Could be holiday homes. 
That's a nice road, isn't it? It just crosses over. Oh wow, yeah. Road to nowhere, like. Yeah, maybe we should try to find that road. This lake is incredible. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's spectacular, isn't it? The mountains just right down to the water. I think we're only a couple of minutes away from the GPS location that I put in. And then I think we need to take a left and head up the lake. Okay. And then hopefully we can find a, a camping spot up there. There's a little village here. Oh yeah, how cute. I think we're just going to pull into this fuel service station and grab some water. Yeah, I don't want to run out of water for a cup of tea. No, it's a good thing. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. All right, successful with the water. Let's go and find a perfect some, little some camping spot. Prints. Is she oh, yeah. not a rebel? Oh, that's so cool. Nice little K1300 as well. All right, are we going to fit these in these bags? Just about. <laughs> don't drop them. Don't drop the beer. Yeah, you don't look like you're helping there with you. No, I'm not helping. <laughs> just I'm like just you filming your struggle. Capture my failures on <laughs> camera. So we've had a slight change of plan. Um, we had a drive up the lake, it's stunning, but we think that it's best to maybe use a designated camping space. So we found one back in the little town that we grabbed our uh, beers and water in. And we're just heading up now to it. It's, it's kind of high up, you kind of have to do like a, a mini pass to get to it. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Well, you have a great view though, being high. Hopefully, yeah. There won't be any mosquitoes either. That's good. This is a great spot, Em. 23 euros, two people, bike and a camping spot. Look at these views! Oh my goodness. All right, let's get the tent up. Let's get set up. We found a lovely camping spot here in uh, northern Spain. Uh, it, it's unbelievable. It's unreal, to be honest. It is, I can't believe it? it was only 20 euro as well for these views. Yeah, it was 20, yeah 23 euros. It's 23 euros like for that. our pitch. And we're all set up now and ready to enjoy the evening. Exactly. That's why I've asked this about is our, the, the yeah. tent of it, but this is our setup. We're just boiling some water for the pasta, but we've already made cups of tea. And the hubba hubba tent is. Uh, is all ready for tonight. Looks good, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Should we take it inside? Yeah. <laughs> go, go and have a look in our it's little like house tonight. Yet, though, I don't know. All right, we've got our two down sleeping bags, our X-Ped mattress, which should be quite comfy. And we've got two pillows in there as well. And we've these... got our light system as well, <laughs> ready for when it goes dark. I quite like this tent, because yeah. you have these little spaces outside, and there's another one on the other side as well. Let's lift that one up. Basically, we've got our helmets and things inside there. Well, here you go. And Em's getting me a well-deserved beer. It's a bit frothy. <laughs> Cheers, Is. Thanks, Em. Head on that one. Cheers, Shadow. <laughs> Thanks for getting us here. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward now to a big bowl of pesto pasto. Pesto pasta. Pesto pasta. Pesto pasta. Pesto pasta. Pesto pasta. And getting in the tent. I don't think it'll be too cold tonight. It's probably it's probably like it's gonna be a maybe bit nippy. ten degrees. Possibly. Right now. It might be a bit lower in the in the middle of the night. Maybe a bit lower. But worth it for these views. Look at this. Absolutely. <sighs> Look at this. I cannot wait to see what it looks like at sunrise in the morning. Oh yeah. Have we wake up naturally to some light for a change? That would be nice. Let's just go over that railing there. There we go. 
I think my water's boiling. Oh. <laughs> Panic station. Oh, it's nearly there. Nearly ready for the pasta. Got we're two cups of tea on the go as well. Yeah. We're also going to use this tonight. Um, it's pea protein and jackfruit granules that you can hydrate in like 10 minutes, I think. So you just put it in some water and then you can just eat it. But if you mix it with like pasta or pesto or a bit of olive oil, it really tastes, it's like minced meat, but it's more chickeny. Okay, but sounds good. A vegan version. Let's fill it and follow protein. It's really, yeah. That's what we need. Yeah, 100 grams has 18 grams of protein in and 125 grams per packet. So That's great. All right, let's get the pasta on. Pasta on. And uh, cheers with a mao hao. I think that is. <laughs> is it any good? <laughs> Not bad, actually. Is Very it? good. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Quite malty, very light. It's good. Does the uh, scenery make it taste better? I think everything tastes good when you're on holiday, doesn't it? It's one of those holiday <laughs> drinks. It doesn't taste nice when you take it home. But, but yeah, really good. You look like you're in your element. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. And no bags to carry to yeah. the hotel room as well. So that's another advantage. Yeah. And like no check-in, no faff, no, no yeah. anything. Let's see how the equipment performs. Well, this is the lightest and smallest tent we could find. Uh, yeah. I think quite a few people recommended this one. And the mattress is a thermal mattress as well, so it should keep the ground, uh, yeah. well, the cold from the ground off as well. And the sleeping bag is minus six degrees, the thermos one, so yeah. I'm M hoping these. M tends to get very cold, so cold. she's quite a good guinea pig for this one. So yeah. we'll let you know in the morning how she gets on. <laughs> <laughs> If I wake up and I'm blue, you'll know that I uh, didn't do yeah. well. I might hear the bike being started in the middle of the night with a heated vest plugged in. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> all right, we're all set up. Yep. We're all snuggled up <laughs> and dinner is ready and the sun is just setting behind the mountains. We have the pea protein, which doesn't look very good, but I promise you it tastes great. And the piece de resistance my pesto pasta there and look at those views to enjoy dinner with insane all right you hungry absolutely all right let's do it so the sun has finally set um just behind the mountains and we have a tiny bit of light left but not so much so i'm just boiling one last pan full of water so i can fill up my hot water bottle for the evening and stick that in my sleeping bag our tent's all set up i've got a little bio light in the mesh of our msr um giving us some light and i also have a head torch on by bio light too and i think we're all about ready sean's just gone to wash up some of the pans and um that's it what an incredible experience camping here honestly the views it just it's unbelievable Right, it's almost time <laughs> to say goodnight. This one's having a great time. <laughs> I'm I'm surprisingly not cold at this point. She's not cold. The equipment's doing its is doing its job. It's seven degrees outside, which is not too bad. But uh, I haven't told them yet. But it's going to drop to two degrees. Two degrees. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> so yeah, okay. maybe you will be starting the bike up and plugging in your electric vest after all. Two degrees. Two degrees, yeah. Okay. They'll be fine. Well, these sleeping bags are minus six. Well, it's like survival minus six, not thrive. Not necessarily <laughs> comfort. All right. But you'll be fine. Let's head to sleep then. <laughs> okay, then. That was a good night from us, and we will catch you in the morning.